All right, so I had people request uh, to do a uh, commentary on a Call of Duty 4 game, so here I am. I'm going to be doing a free-for-all with the R700. I really don't like this gun that much, but I was trying to go for the uh, the XP for ranking up the gun by getting 100 kills, and I was almost, almost done with it. Um, the R700 is just, uh, it says it's a little bit more powerful than the, the M48-3 in the in-game stats, but, you know... I really don't have any problems getting one shot, one kills with the M4083. Plus, it's got one extra bullet in the chamber, and plus, there's less kick when it shoots. So, M40 is just a better all around gun, but I'll be using the R700 for this one. Uh, one of the things that I really love about sniping in a free for all game is because nobody expects it, and a lot of people will, uh, uh, you know, be saying, like, what the fuck, what's that guy doing with a sniper rifle? And uh, it's really satisfying to win after somebody says that. Somebody actually says that coming up here in a second. Yeah, he just said he's walking around with a sniper rifle, and at this point I kind of smiled. Uh, ran into a martyrdom. Nothing really you can do about that. Uh, so, the, the big lesson that I want you guys to take away from this one is awareness. Um, it's really important to be aware of your surroundings, and having a good headset, like I, I mentioned before, I have Turtle Beach headphones, I can hear footsteps, uh, really helps. But on a map like Downpour, where it's you know raining, it's really hard to hear footsteps, so you kind of have to make do with uh, just paying attention to your surroundings. A lot of people ask me, what do I do in those situations when I'm being rushed? Oh, here I get revenge right here. Uh, what do I do in those situations where I'm getting rushed by a submachine gun? And My answer is, <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. I, I mean, I get killed by those guys all the time, so... So my main strategy throughout this map is I'm going to try and stick around the edges of the map and do laps, as you'll see me do in the whole match. There's a nice little quick scope there. I'm just hip firing with the M16. Without steady aim, it can be kind of unreliable, so it took me four bursts to take that guy. Uh, here I'm stunned and I'm just spraying. He's in the last stand and he gets me. So it kind of sucks to spawn in the middle of the map, so I'm trying to run to the edge, but I see a guy right here, so I just do my best. Um, I'm being attacked from behind, but I stun him and chuck a nade. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die, but I wanted to get him before I died. Uh, my nade didn't get him, though. One thing that might help you guys out is not sprinting all the time. I think some people have a habit of sprinting too much. And especially when you're sniping, it's uh, it's a lot easier. Like, I like When I get a kill, I like to sprint away from it because when people see the red dot, they usually run towards it. But uh, you'll see me doing a lot of walking in this game. I'm getting clipped from behind. Beast mode engage right there. <laughs> uh, you can't be overwhelmed just because you have a single shot weapon. It uh, doesn't mean you can't put up a fight. Like uh, that's that's another lesson I want to I want to show you guys is that you know go down fighting. You know don't just stand there. Like uh, a lot of the times, uh, especially when I was just starting out, um, I would just kind of freeze when I'd see a submachine gunner run around the corner because most of the time you're just fucked, right? And uh, now I'll, you know I'll fight to the death. You know like I, I won't I'll, I'll, I try to make everybody work for the, for their kill when they get a kill on me. You know. Like, even if I know, like, I'm 99% sure I'm going to die, you know, I'll still put up a fight. Uh, see, a Claymore Bomb Squad for the win right there. That's why Bomb Squad is probably my favorite perk. So that ties in with awareness right there. I got shot at from behind. I anticipate him coming around the corner. I shoot that guy, but I forget about him because, holy shit, there's three guys. So I got six kills now. Um, I don't even bother with the airstrike because I'm getting rushed, so I get my chopper call it in. Usually in free-for-all, the first person that's going to get a chopper is probably going to win the map. Yeah. 
As you can see, I'm just on a tear right here. This guy takes my uh, my kill streak away from me. But uh, the damage was done. I got my chopper in. And I'm probably gonna win the game. Here I got kind of cocky. I'm just kind of running around the middle middle of the map, which is just not a good idea. But you know. Just about, it's all about reaction time. As soon as you see a guy rushing you, just immediately start pulling up your uh, pulling up your scope. Put it, push the uh, left trigger and bring up your scope. Um, and then time it out about a half second after you pull down the left trigger. You want to fire, and that's what quick scoping is. It's going to save your ass a lot in free for all. So I'm getting rushed. Take a shot, and uh, now I decide just to get the fuck out of there and uh, flank him from behind. But I think he's waiting for me right now, and I just get pwned. No. Never mind, I got him. But then some other guy got me. A lot of people say that uh, free-for-alls are for noobs, and it's easy to get good, uh, good shots in a free-for-all with a sniper rifle, but I disagree. I don't care how good you are. Winning a free-for-all with a sniper rifle is not easy. In uh, World at War or, or Call of Duty 4, it's just instead of having a team behind you and you can kind of cherry pick and keep a distance, you're right in the thick of things, and you got seven other guys in the room that are gunning for you, so it it, it can be difficult, you know. Here yeah, I got one more kill to go. Pick up a submachine gun. Just decide to go for the easy kill. So 25 and 11. Not a bad score for a free-for-all. I was happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed.